Okay, today we're going to discuss and demonstrate a lymphatic technique for the frontal and maxillary sinuses, um, and that technique will be frontal temporal maxillary uh, effleurage. So first, in terms of our contacts, we're going to want to start uh, centrally and then move laterally and then inferiorly following the path of the lymph nodes. Um, and for the frontal uh, bones, we can use a number of different types of contacts. So we can uh, start with our hands kind of in this approach. We can use this approach as well and then move laterally. Uh, but the approach that I prefer and the one I'm going to use for the rest of the, the video is um, with my thumbs making nice broad contact across the frontal bones and then pressing just enough so that I can um, uh, mobilize the lymph underneath the surface of the tissue and once I've pressed that way then I'm going to um, I'm going to glide laterally in a in, in an effleurage type motion uh, essentially squeegeeing the lymph underneath and then coming over to the temporals and then down to the mandible and then I can repeat that I can repeat that several times, or I can alternate with the maxillary sinuses, which I'm going to do now. So coming over to the maxillary sinuses, I can use my thumbs, making broad contact just lateral to the nose, making broad contact along the maxillary sinuses, shifting laterally out to the preauricular lymph node area, and then shifting my direction down and then to the mandible. So then I can alternate those two motions, frontal, then maxillary and frontal then maxillary and I can repeat that for 30 seconds to a minute or two minutes however long is necessary in order to uh, mobilize any congestion that's there um, another thing to note if my patient had um, discreetly tender sinuses, I would want to make sure that I'm using an appropriate pressure so that I can mobilize the lymph, but not so much pressure that I'm causing them additional discomfort. And then I could uh, reassess the area once complete, I could reassess the area for any congestion that was present prior to the technique. And that completes our technique.